Hey, good day. Today I'm gonna to make some Halloween treats for supper. First of all, this is called a wiener wrap. Anyways, let's open it. And the instructions say I'm supposed to smash it on the counter. Woo! Okay, I have to open this sucker up. First of all, I gotta make some eyes and a little happy mouth. So let's go with that. I'm going to be using this oven safe pan. So let's just see how big I need. That's pretty cool, right? Okay, so that little piece of triangle, kind of warped, is going to be my nose. So now let's make some eyes. So I got the square. I'm gonna make a mouth out of the square. I'm gonna round off the square bottoms. I'm going to maybe put some teeth in this. Oh shit, I'm not kidding. Now, I'm gonna put that in the oven, 400 degrees for probably about five minutes, just as she cooks up because that's going to be my decoration. Now, right inside the pot I'm going to use on the oven, I'm going to make some cheese spread that's going to go on this, let's call it pumpkin cheese dip. So first of all, we need eight ounce cream cheese. I have chopped up here two cups of chicken. In that pot it goes, I might have a bit more than two cups. I'm making a mess. I have some Monterey Jack, I think it's called, you know, jalapeno cheese. It's called Monterey Jack? I don't have a goddamn clue. I have a, a half a cup of cheddar. I'm adding half a cup of ranch dressing. Half a cup, half a cup of buffalo hot sauce. Just gonna stir that up. Again, oven proof pan like I told you about. I'm gonna spray it. Now comes the pizza dough. I'm going to take just like that. I don't know how much that would be. Well, let's say generous tablespoon. I'm going to take a little chunk of cheese. Uh, actually, it doesn't really matter how big it is because you're gonna make that decision, right? To that, I'm just gonna make it into a round ball. I'm just gonna plop it in there. Let's do the rest of them. Alrighty then, that's what it's going to look like. You could do two rings if you want, but I'm just going to do the one. So now, to the middle, let's just pour that right into the middle section of this, and that's about it. Okay, I hope you see that. I am going to put that into a 400 degree oven. Let's start off with 30 minutes and see how we do. Just want these to be golden, puffed up a little bit. Be right back. I got a, a, this skull from the dollar store. Now, I've cleaned it, of course, after I brought it home. Now I'm gonna wrap it in saran. Got the saran on them, very nice. Gonna take my sharp knife, punch a hole where the eyes are. You'll see why shortly. Now here's the fun part. Going to take some prosciutto. Now let's go. We are going to start putting it on the skeleton's head. Do you see where I'm going with this? Let's put some down here. I like that he's got teeth. Then I'm gonna go around here. Oh, I'm liking him already, aren't you? You kind of get the idea. It looks like, you know, the muscle matter underneath the skin. I love it. Okay, with those openings, get yourself some olives. Shove the olives in there for the eyes. Now this is going to be a cheese plate. Um, it's just for the family, so you know what? I'm not gonna make it all that super duper. I've got some rice crackers. I have some jalapeno cheese, let's do that. I've got some cheddar, and that's about all I need. You can use a bigger platter if you're serving more, but hell, it's good enough for my family, right? Next, skeddy, skeddy eggs. So I've hard boiled about six of them here. Do as many as you want. Just going to crack them, not take the shells off yet. Give them a little feel here. Make sure you have lots of cracks, good. Now, black food coloring. Okay, so that was about a teaspoon. I'm gonna just put a half a cup of cold water in. Throw my cracked eggs in the bag. Ooh, it's looking marvelous. Now, right now it looks purple, but I think we'll be fine. So I'm gonna just roll that around like that. Make sure you're covering them all in there. Okay, I'm going to, actually gonna put it in the fridge because it's eggs. So I gotta put it in the fridge for about 15 minutes and then we'll come back to that one, right on? While those eggs are sitting there trying to change color a bit, let's go on to our next one. This one I think is gonna be quite exciting. At least I'm excited to give it a whirl. Okay, I washed these avocados. This is another dip. I washed them off. Now let's cut them open. Looks like they're very ripe, but we'll make it work, right? Like, let's get that beautiful fruit in the bowl. I'm gonna use a lime today. I normally use a lemon. 
corn's gonna be fine. Not only does this help the taste, but it also prevents it from going brown. Let's just squeeze some lime in here. I love this gadget. I'm gonna put in about a quarter of a cup of red onions. I've got some clean cilantro. Let's chop that up. Washed Roma tomatoes. The recipe that I'm going to give you the link to says two, but I'm just going to use one. What else? Salt and pepper. Fair bit of salt. While you weren't looking, I just tried a little taste and I think it's going to need just the tiniest little bit of chili powder. Just a little kick. Um, how much? I'm going to put in about a quarter of a teaspoon. Not too much. Give you a little looky-loo. Nice big chunks, I tasted it. Really good. Now, let's take you to the next step. To me, this is the fun part. Okay, get yourself a pumpkin pie, pie pumpkin. One of these smaller guys, for you who don't know, the small, small pumpkins are the one we actually make pies out of, make a pumpkin puree. Okay, I didn't do a good job, but that's not the important part. I've just cut off his head, <laughs> made some eyes, this part's important, you gotta cut out some kind of a mouth, could be round, whatever. If you just want to take a magic marker and do the eyes, fine, but you have to cut out the mouth, okay? So here we go. Get yourself a nice platter. I'm using orange for Halloween. So then what you do is you take this chunky um, guacamole dip, and now we're gonna have some fun with it. I <laughs> one too many boxes of wine. I don't care, I just think this is so much fun. Now, let's have a wee boo. Okay, let's stack the mouth a bit more. Perfect, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna get a little tea light, just thought of it. Don't burn yourself. Okay, now, I think that's kinda cute, don't you? Get this delicious, delicious cheesy twistits and put it in the bowl. Why not, right? So let's throw some tomatoes on top. Now get yourself a bag of these guys. Put them all over the plate. Okay, oh, I think that's a great surprise. Look, you can even just put your little pumpkin head like that. Okay, let's move on to the deviled eggs. The boiled eggs have been sitting inside the black food coloring in the fridge for about 15 minutes. It actually looks a bit purple. Anyways, they've already been cracked. Let's peel off the hard egg and see what we have under here. Look at, is that nifty shit or what? Okay, that is, oh, I'm, I'm so excited. These are without a doubt one of the coolest things I've ever made. I, I, I'm mesmerized. Yeah, some parts of it got much darker than the rest, but can't even describe it. Now let's cut them open the way we normally would for deviled eggs. Perfectly cooked inside. Scoop out the yolk. Just gonna mash them down. I'm going to put in, a, let's say about two tablespoons of mayonnaise. Then I always put some mustard inside my, whoo! I put mustard in my deviled eggs. Let's put about, yeah, that much. Salt and pepper. Let's do about three dots of green food coloring. Gonna need more green food coloring. I'm up to about a teaspoon. I think that's a good color. Let's get a piping bag. Open her up. Get a spatula. Okay, in the bag she goes. I can always come back and fill them with more. Just gonna make sure I have enough for these. I'm gonna show you one like this. Just piping it in. See? Easy. I'm not making it pretty. Doesn't it remind you of Dr. Zeus, green eggs and ham? Now we're not finished yet. Get some black olives. I'm gonna cut the end off for the body. Then I'm going to split the olive in half and then just cut long pieces for his legs. I'm just about to serve my, all the food group meal here, I think. Let's just put some melted butter on top of these little um, pizza pockets. I don't know what you wanna call them. They're the ones that had the cheese in them, right? Oh, that looks really good. Now I did, have it out of the oven already, probably for about five, 10 minutes, so it's cooled off a bit. However, when you're cooking it, you may want to serve it right out of the oven so it's nice and hot. We're gonna give it a little try. Let's put the eyes on. Let's put his funny little mouth on. How's that? Mm -hmm. 
I just got a little extra little piece here. Let's see what it's like. Oh, golly. Mm. God, that's a zinger. So you're just going to pull off, see? Pull off a little piece like that. Oh, ooey gooey and dip it in the goodness. I think your family's gonna love it. Sure, it's not meat and potatoes, but you're covering all the food groups, right? Well, you have fun in Halloween. Ciao for now. You forgot me. Oh, <laughs>